Hey guys, um, here we are. Like I said, we're here at Chickamauga Dam, and I'm going to show y'all the difference between the gizzard shad and threadfin shad. I have a gizzard shad um, right here on top, and a threadfin shad on the bottom. If you look, you can look at the jaw and notice that the threadfin it, it underhooks under the bottom. This is a threadfin shad, and a lot of people are catching. These are, these are what died out so much during the winter and there's just seriously there's not hardly many left down here below the dam this year that I've noticed and uh, and but if you swap over to this this is a, just a juvenile gizzard shad and there are tons of these and a lot of people are mistaking them for the thread fin which they're not I mean you can see the blunt nose rounded on the end and the coloration is just not as much plus you got this little on the back of the fin you have this little tail. It's not quite as prominent as it is on the thread fin. You can see the thread fin. You can really see the difference. But like I said, you can see underneath the underhook jaw and on the gizzard shad, see the blunt nose. And that is your difference between a thread fin and a gizzard shad. And also, the gizzard shad will get to be upwards of three pounds in some cases. And a thread fin will typically, they'll, they'll rarely get over about seven inches long, but thread fin, gizzard.